Yay, we are reunited with our cruise gear friends. Thank you all so much for your patience. I know we have been very, very bad YouTubers on this channel for the last month or so. We just got sucked into the routine and Vlogtoberfest on our other channel, but we are so happy to be back. A special thanks to April Z, who sent me an email yesterday and said, I need some cruise gear time, let's unbox. And I said, yes, April, let's do it. So thank you, April, for pushing me along. I've been wanting to, and the stuff is piling up. And I'm not unboxing it without you guys, so we needed to do this. Anyway, welcome everyone. Let's start today with our Pura Vida unboxing. We're doing Pura Vida, Ipsy, Target Beauty, and Walmart today. Full disclosure, as I mentioned in the little chat here, in the live chat before, these are last month's boxes with the exception of Walmart. So we're looking at September Ipsy, September Pura Vida, September Target. I do have my October Target and Pura Vida and Ipsy on the way. So as soon as those come, let's do this again. I'm having issues with my, my Pura Vida bracelet bag, so I'm just gonna rip it open here. So Pura Vida bracelets is a monthly club subscription. It is one of my all-time favorites. When people ask me, what is your favorite monthly? This would be the hardest one for me to let go if I had to let go. So this is $15 per month. There is a link in the description for just about everything today with the exception of Walmart. We do have an affiliate link with Pura Vida, which is awesome. So I'm going to reveal all three of the September Club bracelets right now. They're so beautiful. I know that many of you already have these and or you have peaked and you've seen them online. So I'm going to open them up. So you get three bracelets for $14.95 every month. It is an automatically sent package. And these are, oh my goodness, I'm really struggling. Let's go one at a time. These are our little beauties today. Mr. Chris Hoops TV, how does that look? Can you see it? So pretty. So this is one of the woven bracelets that um, I really like. One thing I'm noticing here, the string does not look as long as it normally does. Look at the strings on the ones on my wrist and then look at this. Either it's not very tight or they're shortening their strings a little bit, you guys. Has anybody else noticed that? Megan, thank you so much for saying that about my hair. I felt like it was too wild. It's not too wild? Hmm, okay. So this is the first one in the pack. So pretty, I'm gonna put it right over there. This is the second one. This is a very delicate, traditional little string bracelet with a few beads. So it has the aqua beads and a couple of little silver beads on the outside and then some knots to tie it together. Very, very pretty. And I really like that they did the kind of sea blue. And then this is probably my favorite part. This is a charm with a couple of little um, trees on it, like little pine trees. So pretty as we go into fall. I just love this one. So this is a beautiful little three pack. What does everybody think? Is isn't it gorgeous? That is how it looks all together. Pretty well color coordinated. I don't really see a whole lot of this blue in this woven one, but I still absolutely love it. And I will mix and match with past ones. All right. Thank you, Cindy, for uh, the compliment on my shirt. This is a free people that I got at TJ Maxx about a month ago. Really like it. Okay, let's see here. What else do we have going on in the chat? I definitely want to say hello to everyone. <laughs> Aw, thank you. Hi, Jill. Glad you could make it. Okay, so let's jump into our next unboxing because that was pretty quick. Next, we're going to do Ipsy. Ipsy Glam Bag. Ipsy is a $10 per month subscription right now. They do have a new Ipsy, um, kind of a more deluxe subscription that's coming up that I'll tell you guys a little bit more about when I learn about it, but I haven't learned yet. I have some peripheral items here that I'm pulling out of the bag that are extras. When you... Subscribe to Ipsy, by the way, this is the cute little bag. When you subscribe to Ipsy, if you refer a friend, you get extra points. And those points can be used to redeem additional products of your choice, and you can choose them in the app or on the website. So let's first start with going over what's in my bag and looking at the bag. This is so cute. As a girl who had lash extensions for many, many months, I absolutely love this little bag. I think it's so cute. So usually Ipsy has five beauty products in it. And they allow you to customize your beauty profile when you register. And as a result, they try to send you things that you like. I think sometimes they do a really good job of it, sometimes not quite as much of a good job. I think everybody has different experiences with, um, with Ipsy. So pretty little bag this month, very cute, very different from anything that I've seen them do in a while. I'm gonna put the products over here so we can see them. And my first item is quite large, and this is from the cream shop or the creme shop. 
And this is a double cleanse, two-in-one facial foam, daily cleanser and makeup remover. This is brightening and this is made in Korea. I'm extremely happy with this sample. This is one fluid ounce and will be excellent for travel or for a cruise. I really like to try new facial cleansers because if I don't have them on hand, I usually use my soap, like my Dove soap on my face. I'm very naughty, please, beauty lovers and experts, don't get mad at me, but this is why I like samples because I get used to them. So that is very much appreciated from me. Thanks, Mellow Bulldog. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's been a busy, it's been a busy month, but we really wanted to do this and it is fun and it is relaxing for me. So I'm, I'm glad we're here. Okay, this is very interesting, you guys. This is a cute little mask. This is an Apto healing turmeric or turmeric, however you like to pronounce it, mask. This is 15 milliliters or a half an ounce. This is for all skin types. I am fascinated with this. I cannot wait to try it. This will be on the side of my bathtub tonight to be used as a little relaxing mask. I'm trying to be better about self-care and doing just little things to slow me down a little bit because I run a little bit, a little bit fast, a little bit uptight and I need to chill. And I need to do more things like put a mask on, listen to spa music in the bathtub and stop quote unquote working all the time. So I'm trying guys, I'm trying. Okay, this is cute. This is a thank me later face primer. Can you guys tell me if you use primers or not? I find them to be an extra annoying step and I rarely ever use them. And I, I usually, when I get one from Ipsy, I usually don't rate it well because I don't want them to send me another one, but they keep sending me primer. Can you all please tell me about primer and how I should be using it on top of my moisturizer, under my moisturizer? What do you think I need to do? Joe, you use Dove on your face too. Okay, I feel better now. Oh gosh, I know, right? My goodness sakes. Thank you, Maureen, for saying that about Ipsy's customer service. I appreciate it. I'm gonna put this little guy right over here and then let's see what the other two items are. Okay, this is interesting. This looks like a loose eyeshadow. This is Pretty Petal. I think this is a loose eyeshadow in sort of a rose gold. I'm a little bit afraid to open a loose powder when I have a white tablecloth on my table because I don't want it to be everywhere, but let's try. Oh, they put a little cover over it, so there it is. I'm a little nervous about loose eyeshadows. I don't really know if I have enough brush control to use them, but that's a very pretty shade and very much something I would use. This looks to be an extremely high quality makeup brush. This is a Luxie Detailed Taper Blender, you guys. Look at the quality of this brush. Isn't that gorgeous? I will absolutely use this and maybe I can use this with this. Maybe the blending capability on that will be good. I would definitely say that this is, um, this is one of my better Ipsies. I'm really happy with it. I don't really care for the one that's coming to me next month because they put nail polish in it and I only wear gel polish and I've tried to communicate that a few thousand times but it's not really sticking. But maybe I'll give it away to someone and they also sent me a really dark wine colored lipstick which I don't wear those colors so I'm like, ugh, not all that excited about the next one but we'll see. Okay, let's talk about primer and how everyone is using it. Okay, so Anna says moisturize then primer only in problem areas. Um, Wicked Wonder, you don't use foundation. Oh my gosh, I could never live without foundation at this age. I cannot do it. Okay, let's see what everybody's saying about the primer. I'd like to hear. <sighs> Cindy, I've got you ordering the boxes. Angie says that Benefit makes a nice eye primer. I do like eye primers and I do use concealer on my lids. Okay, so Natasha finds that primer clogs her pores. And, um, Kristen doesn't use it. Linda does use face and eye. Eye primer is a must for me too. I always have something on the lids. Um, MAC primer, um, eye primer. Yeah, so a lot of you are saying that it's not really all that necessary. Okay, thank you all so much. I was feeling like I was going a little crazy and thinking I'm the only person in the world, surely, who does not use primers. I wanna show you the bonus items that I selected this month. Um, this is from referring friends like you guys. This is actually something you can do um, with Ipsy. You can select them. You can use a referral link anytime. So some of the things that I got were, I got this translucent powder from Laura Mercier. I really am enjoying putting a nice translucent setting powder on top of my makeup anymore. And this is a very high quality brand. I know they sell it at Nordstrom and I love Laura Mercier. So I'm very happy with this. I wish it wasn't loose, but because it was um, it was kind of a freebie, I really wanted to get it because I go through the translucent powders very quickly. This is a very generously side size Seba Med liquid face and body wash. Has anybody ever used Seba Med? Is this a medicated body wash? Oh no, it's for sensitive skin. Soap and alkali free supports skin's natural barrier. I, I always want uh, excuse me 
facial washes. So this was a must have for me and the add-ons. And this is another one I'm really excited about, you guys. This is called um, Super Dark minute tan so this is a tanning foam i didn't realize it was super dark and that makes me very nervous because i am super white <laughs> but i think i'll give it a try and see how it goes and i'll let y'all know if i end up looking like you know what's it what's she called snooki <laughs> Might have looked like Snooky, I'll let you know. All right, next up is a product from Vita Liberata. Vita Lab Liberata is one of my favorite self-tanning providers. They're kind of a luxury brand. This is called Body Blur, and this is actually a, um, I'm trying to think of how you would, how you would describe this. It's basically, okay, here's what it says. Body blur is the original Instagram filter in a tube. Revolutionary technology minimizes blemishes, covers imperfections, and smooths skin for an HD ready skin finish. I think you guys too that it's a bronzer, if I'm not mistaken. I I'm sure it has a little cover on it. I don't wanna, oh no, yeah. Let's see if it has a little, Liz, it has a little bit of bronzing in it. Uh, come on there. Yeah, it appears to be. So let's see how it works. I'm going to apply it here with careful attention not to get it on my tablecloth. And just as a reminder, all of these things did not come in my Ipsy bag. These were add-ons. So make sure that if you're an Ipsy subscriber, you get your friends to use your referral link, which can be found right in your account. There's no extra effort required. Oh, this is like definitely like body makeup. Might be a little too dark for my skin shade. Um, but I think if we rub it in really, really well, and we're not using a tanner and we really needed it for the day. Yeah, no, do I look like an Oompa Loompa? <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh, it's not bad. I think if I blended it well enough, it could actually be really pretty. It has a very nice texture. Hopefully you can see that well enough. What does everybody think about these add-ons? Pretty nice, huh? So yeah, it's. It, I would use this. I would use it on my decollete if I was wearing an off the shoulder dress or something, but I would, perhaps what I would do is mix it with a little lotion to tone it down a little bit, just because I am so pale. Oh, Lo Megan said the Laura Mercier powder is a holy gra grail. It's so worth the price, and there is a press version. Thank you, Megan. You are always my makeup goddess. I appreciate that. Very, very cool. <laughs> Michelle DeBoard said I could not look like Snooki. No, I probably couldn't if I tried, right? You guys are funny with the Snooki comments. Okay, so it's not just me who doesn't like primer. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate it. Okay. Angie, I haven't tried the Allure Beauty Box. Do you like it? How much is it? Let me know. Kat, you do not use makeup at all. How do you get away with that? I, I really wish I could not use makeup at all. I would be very happy. You guys have probably seen me on Instagram with no makeup. Every so often I'll do an Instagram or story or something sitting in bed and be like, okay, this is, this is how I woke up. But I try not to traumatize everyone too much. Okay, so we're going to, hmm, and move on to our next box. Yeah, box. Anna, yes, you're, you're right. Add something to lighten it. I think that's a good idea. Let's blend it with my um, lotion. Okay, Anna said, are the bracelets usually woven and string? Do they have metal? Sometimes, Anna, but generally speaking, they run along the lines of woven. This set that I got a few months ago, um, which is actually missing one, has a little, a few components of metal in it or elements of metal, but generally speaking, they're, speaking, they're woven with little detail. They have charms on some of them. They're beaded sometimes, if that helps. Um, okay, let's see here. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, what's this? One from Cindy about Carnival, I can't see it. Um, I think I've answered all the other ones. So if you want me to see Cindy's question, can you move it up? Thank you so much. Okay, great. Um, oh, okay, so Cindy, about the lashes. Um, lash extensions are the best thing ever. They're a total luxury though. For me, I just needed to take a break from them because it was getting really expensive and I was also, I sleep on my side and sometimes it pressed onto my eyes and my face and I was kind of hard on my lashes. So I love them. They're phenomenal if you're, for a trip. They're very expensive though. So right now I'm actually just wearing lash strips. I'm wearing some wispy ones I got on Amazon and I really like them. During the work week, I don't wear any lash strips at all. I only use, usually use them if I'm going out or if I'm going to be on camera, but I do absolutely love the extensions. Everyone tolerates them differently. Mine would get a little clumpy in the middle just because I don't have much natural lashes. Mr. Chris Tips TV is writing a note on my teleprompter that said like 
when you fried your lashes in the oven? Honey, are you messing with me? Okay, so yeah, there's that too. You don't want to open your oven when it's 475 degrees, when you have lash extensions on and they sort of burn together. That's bad. My lash lady, as I call her, totally cracked up at me though. She's like, what did you do? Why are the ends of your lashes burned? <laughs> she kind of said it like that too. Like, like really, lady, what did you do? And I'm like, I, what are you talking about? And then I did two and two and I realized I had opened my oven and it really sent a wave of heat at me and it was a very hot temperature. I singed my lashes. I burned them. So they're high maintenance. I love them, but they're high maintenance. So um, Lauren wants to know, what was the sensitive skin facial cleanser called? Again, Lauren, I would be happy to tell you. This one is, um, it's the Seba Med. S-E-B-A Med. Can you see that, Mr. Cruz, TV? I don't want to mess up the focus on the camera. If I thrust something towards it, it can be a bad thing. So anyway. Um, oh, Alex wants to know what I'm wearing on my lips. You love the color. Thank you so much, Alex. I am wearing lip scents today. I am wearing a shade called Summer Fun. Summer Fun is a limited edition, very light pink lip scents shade. If you want to buy some lip scents, I'm a distributor, but I don't actively distribute it because I just don't have time. So what I want you to do is I want you to get in touch with my friend, Bethany. She has a Facebook page that is sort of her business hub and it's called Feathers and Anchors Beauty. And she is the one who got me started on it and she can help you with a starter kit. It's the bomb. I have a very difficult time wearing anything else because lip scents, um, it doesn't come off. On your cup, on your straw, it is semi, it's not, it's not permanent by any means, but it's, it stays put. I don't know what you call that. Long wearing, extremely long wearing. As such, you must learn how to apply it correctly you must use the correct gloss with it and reapply the gloss very frequently and you must learn how to remove it. So you can't just buy lip scents and be like, oh, I'm gonna try it. You have to learn how to do it right. So please go to Bethany's page. It's Feathers and Anchors Beauty on Facebook. So yeah. Um, yes, Gail, definitely let Bethany help you and tell her I said hi. She's my bud. Um, Natasha's wearing Bella lip scents today. Ooh, Bella, that sounds really pretty. I want to look at that, that shade. I, um, oh, Gail said if I had to pick one box, which one would I prefer? I would pick, I would keep the bracelets and, and probably, probably I would keep Ipsy. And the reason why is because since I have started using Ipsy Glam Bag, I rarely ever purchase makeup anymore except for my key core items, like my foundation. Everything else comes from either my Ipsy Glam Bag or my FabFitFun. I mean, I, literally full-size cosmetic items come in both of them all the time, so I just don't even have to replenish anymore. So for $10 a month, I'm getting a full cupboard of makeup. Sometimes I get too much. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll package stuff up and take it to work with me if I'm not using it and we'll have a fun swap. We'll have a beauty box swap at work. I also, when my mom comes to visit me, I give her a couple makeup bags and I just give her the boxes and say, go pick what you want. And she takes it home because I do have a lot and I have a backup because I've got a few subscriptions going on here, but they are very practical and I do use them quite a bit. Okay. Oh my gosh, Michelle, you're on Symphony of the Seas in Barcelona. The hair is standing up on the back of my neck. That is so cool, Michelle. Have a wonderful cruise. Thank you for tuning in. How are you getting such good Wi-Fi? Please tell me. Um, Holly wants to know what beauty box would you recommend for first box? You're into skincare more than makeup. If you're into skincare more than makeup, you might want to try Birchbox. Birchbox is great. Let's help Holly guys tell her what to use. Um, yes. Oh, I have a secret for you, Cindy, about how to put the lashes on. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, are you able to grab something for me out of my bathroom, out of the hall bathroom? Okay, so on the counter in there, I think it's in there, or it might be in the, ba it might be in the bathroom by the laundry room. It's this little gray tweezer thing that's sitting next to my lash glue. Can you bring it to me so I can show it to Cindy? Cindy, oh my gosh, I discovered the best tool. So one of my lash kits came with an applicator. It's like a plastic set of tweezers that I'm gonna show you. And so what you do is before you put the glue on, you place the lashes in the tweezer, you apply the glue, and then you just go like this. Boop! They pop right on. I was like, why didn't someone tell me about this before? Thank you, my love. Cindy, this is what you need. 
Okay, so imagine you've got the outer edge of the lash in here. Okay, so not the, not the, um, not the side you put the glue on. You place it in here, you put the glue on like that, you close your eye, and you, or you know, you kind of close the eye and you're in the mirror and you just go like this, boop, and they stick beautifully. So please try it. These come in the lash kits a lot of times. So when you go to Target, look for one that has one of these in it, okay? You're gonna love it. They're so cool. They have changed the lash strip applicator game for me. Okay, you guys are so cute. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so funny. What am I missing here? Oh, Angie said you can swap on the My Subscription Addiction page. I didn't know that. On the website or does she have a Facebook page for that? I love Liz, she's so cool. Oh, this is great, you guys. Oh my goodness sakes. Yeah, Taylor, you and your mama trade them too. Yes, you gotta trade with your mom. I mean, come on, mom gets first pick. I'm telling you right now, she always does. Okay. Let's go ahead and open Target and Walmart. What do you think? Shall we do Target first? Let's do Target first. So this is last month's Target, everybody. How are we holding up, by the way? How's everybody doing, Mr. Cruz Sips TV? Are you taking care of my ladies and gents in there? Yeah, we got some, you taking care of my people today? How are they doing? Good, do they, feel, do they feel like their questions are getting answered? I'm not neglecting anybody. You know I don't like to do that, you guys. Usually the pace is nice over here, though, and we can get to all the questions we, we want to over here, right? So, okay. Um, this is the September Target box, I think. Um, here we go, let's get a look at it. It's very fall-like, very pretty. Orange lid, purple base. Gorgeous. Okay, this is what it looks like. It says, hello, beauty reboot. Summer, we'll miss you, but it's time to reboot our beauty routine, so we've primed just in time for autumn. Inside this box, you'll find a few of our faves that give your regimen Fall perfect polish. Try them out, and if you love them, find them at Target. Blah, 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 all that stuff. Okay, I wanna tell you guys what I do with all the boxes, by the way, when I'm done with them. In my closet, what I do is I, I, put, I use a label maker and I put some particular type of, of cosmetic item label on the outside. So I categorize every box and then I lump things that are like together. So one of them will say dry shampoo, and I put all my dry shampoo samples in here. One will say moisturizers, one will say eye makeup, one will say, um, full size shampoo, sam shampoo packets, whatever, and then I stack them up, and that's how I organize them, and then when I wanna give them away, if someone needs something, I just say, hey, what do you need? Okay, here's the box, take a look, what do you think? So that is my secret for keeping your closet organized when you're a beauty box junkie, like me. Natasha, the Target beauty box is elusive. Normally speaking, and unfortunately it's not a subscription, you have to go to Target's website the first Monday of the month at like early, early, early morning hours. So we're talking like, I don't know, I think they usually go live around 5 a.m. Usually I buy mine at 6 or 7 a.m. But you never know, sometimes they don't go live the first Monday of the month, like last, this last one went live like on a Wednesday. It was so, so frustrating. I wish they would just make it a subscription. It's ridiculous. Okay, let's open the sucker up. Pretty orange tissue. First item in it is a charcoal magnesium mineral enriched natural deodorant. Smells fantastic, super mellow, really nice. And this is a seven ounce, or this is beautiful thing for travel. I am stoked. I love natural deodorants and I tend to wear them on the weekend. I sometimes wear my normal secret during the week. All right, we have a coconut miracle oil dry shampoo. Heck yes. 10 out of 10, love this product, stoked. Anytime a dry shampoo comes in a box, it is worth the entire price of the box to me. Next, we have a Nivea body lotion. This is a Shea Daily Moisture for dry skin. Yeah, that's okay, nice. Not super fond of Nivea products, but it's cool. I might use that in the winter time, right? Keep it in the car or something, and if your legs get kind of dry and ashy, throw it on. Ooh, what is this? A facial cleanser from cleanser from Olay. This is the Cleansing Infusion Hydrating Glow Crushed Ginger and Citrus Extract Facial Cleanser. Ah, oh, I'm so excited and I really appreciate that they put this grip tape around here so it doesn't leak. I love this. And this is TSA approved. Probably gonna go to Asia with me. Next up is a Wild Rose Creamy Body Wash. You guys, this is from Waleta, a very nice upscale brand. I am thrilled about this box so far. This may be one of my favorite Target boxes of all time. This is incredible, you guys. <gasps> no 
way. This is a L'Oreal um, Voluminous ba uh, Lash Primer. This is what I use. This is what I use in my full size. I just got my, cru my next cruise primer and I didn't even think about the fact that I could take a travel size. This is so crazy cool, I'm really stoked. And I'm sure this box is sold out and I'm really bummed. I would actually buy another entire box. So little teeny tiny lash primer. You put this on wet underneath your mascara and it's really nice. It helps your mascara to stay put. And the last thing is just a little bonus item. This is a soothing facial mist with rose water. This is awesome. You guys, do you love this box or is it just me? I love this. Let me see what all of you think about this. Okay. Oh, wow, Tabitha, you find the natural deodorants painful to use? What brand was hurt, was hurting you? Let me know. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you like oil of Olay better, cat, crazy cat traveler. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, it makes your armpits sticky. Yeah, I mean, I think we are all very used to those aluminum-based products, so I get it. I get it. Oh, how coconutty does it smell? Are you talking about this one, the dry shampoo cat? Let's find out. Nice, very coconutty. Yeah, it's good, I like it. Definitely um, subtle though, and pleasant. Very, very nice. Ah, okay, yes, Target box is usually $7. Sometimes it's five, sometimes it's seven. I've, I've had them before when they were 10, but usually yes. Okay, great box, right? You guys agree with me? Awesome box. Okay, let's move on to Walmart. I cannot remember a time though that I was that happy with a Target box. Probably because I love anything coconut, anything rose, and I'm so thrilled that they put in a face wash. I mean, it's just all happy times. Oh, oh, don't forget guys, $3 coupon for your $15 beauty purchase at Target. I'm actually putting this aside because I'm out of foundation and I need to get some foundation. So I'm gonna make sure I use that. All right, now we have both Walmart beauty boxes. These are, gosh, you guys, are the Walmart beauty boxes, are they quarterly? I think they're quarterly, remind me. I think, I think that they are. So we have the classic and the trendsetter. When you sign up for Walmart beauty box on their website, this is a, su a subscription by the way, and when you enter your age, it determines whether you get the classic or the trendsetter. I always forget what the age cutoff is for the classic. That's the older person one and the trendsetter, which is the younger one. Can you guys let me know what the age cutoff is? What I did is I created two subscriptions and put my age, falsified my age, <laughs> and now I get the trendsetter too, so yeah. Oh, look at this is a nice one, look. It doesn't have, it has this type of box. I forgot if they do this normally on Walmart. Oh gosh, I don't even know. Um, oh, Gail, I hope you heard my tip about where we keep our samples. If not, watch the replay. I keep them in the boxes and I label the boxes in my closet. This one says embrace your beauty, rate and review, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really tell me which one I'm looking at. It drives me crazy. This must be sponsored by Nivea because it has a Nivea little tissue in it. Okay, so someone in the in the chat earlier told me that she thinks that the that this must be the classic because this one has a charcoal um, micellar water in it. So let's talk about that as our first item today. So we have a charcoal micellar water, great for oily skin, removes makeup, deep cleans, pores, and refreshes. If anybody knows which box this is, if this is trendsetter or um, classic, let me know. But that's the first item. Very nice. I will use that as a makeup remover. Um, Millie, I will definitely do that for you. I'll name those in a minute. Ooh, a Cetaphil Gentle Cleansing Bar. Am I getting my fix, you guys, of facial cleansers today? This is nice. This is for dry, sensitive skin, and I will definitely use that, and I can even let my son use it. Ah, uh, good old classic Maybelline Great Lash. We like that. This is pretty good. Pretty good for Walmart, not too bad. We have a teeny tiny sample size of the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. We have a little Kleenex gentle wet wipes tissue. That's just probably a bonus item. And then we have another bonus item. This is a Nivea 48 hour soothing moisture. Yep, good for winter. Not too bad. I don't usually like all these little sample packets, but that's okay. Oh, these are great. Um, this is a black charcoal bubble sheet max mask. It bubbles like, um, like a carbonated soda on your face. It is so cool, you guys. So when you first put it on, it is a sheet ma mask. It, um, it bubbles. So what you do is you're supposed to rub the pouch in a circular motion to prevent the essence from sinking to the bottom. And then you cleanse your skin, tone it, and put this on for five to 10 minutes and it really bubbles, it's great. This is also a fun gift. So if you're trying to put together a little gift basket for someone or you're gonna take some of your sample grates, I would definitely um, 
put one of those in there because it's kind of fun and it's a novelty. Last item in the box today is a Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner from Maybelline. This is nice. A liquid liner in a Walmart box is a really good value. I would have to say as they go, not too shabby. Oop, one more. Little tiny Aveeno Sheer Daily Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 packet. This is excellent if you're packing light for a cruise and you just wanna throw a few of these one day use packets in. Not too bad. For Walmart, you guys, this is a good box. I'm pretty happy with it. Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so Millie wants to know my top five boxes I recommend. Um, most of them are right here on the table. Walmart is usually not my favorite. I'll just be straight up about that. But I do like Target Beauty quite a bit, but it's not a subscription. I do like Pura Vida. That's not beauty though. Um, it's bracelets. And I really used to like Birchbox a lot, but what was happening with Birchbox is a lot of their products were sort of obscure or too high end for me and they were super tiny and I knew I wouldn't repurchase them so I just didn't love them but Birchbox is a really good starter box as well. Let's let our subscribers weigh in though on what they think about their favorite samples. Go ladies and gents let us know what you think. Okay Mr. Cruise Tips TV let me know if you see any more questions because I'm going to jump into the second Walmart box and we're going to wrap up in about five minutes everybody so now is the time to get your questions in okay so did we find out if that was the trendsetter or the classic does anybody know i wish they would make it a little bit easier to tell um if i had to guess i would have thought that that might have been trendsetter but i'm not sure okay next walmart box these are five dollars by the way they are a subscription it's really not they say that it's five dollars shipping and the box is free but it's all the same right Everybody's saying they love Ipsy, Sephora Play. FabFitFun is absolutely my favorite, probably my favorite box too. It's just that it's large and it's $49 a season, so it's a different ball game of boxes. Okay, this one, exactly the same on the inside. No change there, no difference. And I am going to guess that this is, oh, they both have the charcoal micellar water, so we can't use that to tell which one it is. I'm gonna stack everything on top of the box, so let me get everything out and then we'll kinda go backwards here. There's always lots of coupons and things inside of these too, if you're interested. I usually don't show them off because I think they're kinda probably not very popular with people. Okay, another charcoal micellar water. And then what on earth is this, you guys? My Collagen Hydrogel Lip Patch. Okay, imagine me sitting in my bathtub with this on my face and my son walks in and he's just like, ah, right? I mean, I can totally see that happening. Okay, maybe it's a nice cracked lip treatment though. Looks pretty cool to me. I'll try to take this seriously. Okay, I promise. <laughs> Target usually posts, we always wander. They, it usually posts around the first Monday um, of the month, but it's inconsistent. Really, they need to get that, that ironed out. Oh, this is nice, you guys. This is a conditioning mousse. This is a foam conditioner, sheer volume conditioner. I think that's really cool. So I guess that is, I wanna make sure that it's rinse out. Yes, you do rinse this out. This is not a leave-in conditioner. That is cool and clever, I like it. I'm seeing some crossover. We have the same precise liquid eyeliner that we had in the other box. And we have the same little Cetaphil gel, the same Nivea, I'm gonna put those over here. And then we have another Kleenex wet wipes. And then the other item, and this, I, now I'm thinking this is probably the trendsetter. This is a water gel mask from Freeman. Meh, not too thrilled with this box, it's okay. I just don't know. It's just not my favorite. Okay. Yes, Angie, I did know you could get sample boxes on Amazon. Yes, I love that. The price you pay um, can be used towards stuff. In fact, we're doing a big, we're doing two videos next week on our regular Cruise Tips TV channel on gifts for cruisers. And one of the gifts that we're going to be talking about is particularly those boxes. The Amazon Sun Care, the men's sample box, those are all really fantastic and I love them. So I'm glad you reminded me, Angie, I'll include those. Um, yes, there is a Target eye box this month. We always wonder, it isn't a regular thing for them. This is some sort of a special. I did order it, I think I ordered it, and it's coming soon, so as soon as I get it, I'll review it here. Okay, Red Baker reminds us that this month's Target boxes are still available. Now, the one I showed was last month's, but there are, are they both still available? Let me know. Yes, Becky, I love the Amazon boxes, especially the, um, the Sun Care box. And like our subscriber was saying, you get to use credit towards a full-time, a full-size item. 
Okay, great. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap up because we do have another live stream in less than an hour on our other channel, so I need to regroup and get ready for that, but I hope you've enjoyed this. Let's do this again when I get my October subscriptions because I'm really excited to show all those off to you. I'm sure that the Pura Vida bracelets are gonna be amazing. They really do a good job for fall, so I can't wait to see some spoilers. Becky, the Amazon one, I don't think is a subscription. I think it's just a one-time purchase. Um, let me see if there's any more questions coming in before we wrap up. Megan, the lip masks were, work great. Okay, I will, I'm gonna give it a chance because my lips, since I do use lip scents, they tend to get a little dry, so I need to check that out. Any other questions, honey, that I've missed? Nope, okay, good. All right, everyone, we're gonna wrap up. Come join us on our other channel, Cruise Tips TV, for a 12 o'clock live stream. We have a very special announcement today that particularly pertains to new cruisers and to people who are hoping to let's just say broaden their education on cruising. Don't want you to miss that. We will see you all on our Cruise Tips TV channel at noon Pacific time today. And I will be back, I promise, much more timely fashion here to unbox our October stuff. Thank you all so much for joining us today. You're wonderful. And until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Bye-bye. First mate of the week. Mm.